Hey guys, Austin Spex21 here, your destination for speculation. And today I will be going over Power Rangers Beast Morphers again. Because that last Power Rangers Beast Morphers I video I did, that video has close to a thousand, close to 900 views on it right now. So I figured I owe it to you Power Rangers fans to do another one. So this video isn't really about what the show is going to be like, but more like how the show has changed over time. Because it changes every season, there is something different every season, and that's one of the things that I really love about Power Rangers. Not the past six seasons, because those have all been the same thing. But Beast Morphers, I have faith in Beast Morphers. And I'm going to go over the reasons why I think it's going to be different, what changes they have made to the Power Rangers, and just how I feel about it in general. So without further ado, let's get right into today's video about the top five things that will ch change throughout Power Rangers Beast Morphers. You know, hopefully. S so let's take a look. So the first change that everyone has noticed right off the bat is the look of the logo. I mean, it looks very similar to the Power Rangers movie logo that has come out. And I really like the look of this. Like, I'm I'm gonna miss the arch, arched over normal logo that we usually get, but you know, Power Rangers Beast Morphers this is why I have faith in it, because they're changing it up a little. It's not going to be the exact same thing over and over again. I mean, it probably will, because it's basically the definition of Power Rangers, but still, you know. I think it's going to be great, and you don't knock something before you try it, so... You never know. But still, the logo does look great, and I can't wait to see it in action. Also, something else that is changing, I mean, just look at these suits. Do you see any spandex? No, that is because they are leather suits. They have graduated from spandex, and it only took them 25 years. And you know, they look pretty cool. I cannot wait to see these leather suits in action. I'm going to miss the spandex. I'm sorry, Dr. K. Tights. I'm going to miss the tights very much. And, um... But, you know, it's time to move on. It's time to out with the old and in with the new. So, I cannot wait to see this happen. And I really... Hope that the suits do something better than the spandex can do because they look pretty, pretty dang good. So, yeah, I am excited about the new suits. Now, keep in mind that this next change is purely speculation, so I have no idea if this is actually going to happen. But for Tommy's sake, I hope it does. There has been speculation that there will not be a Super Beast Morphers this year because Nickelodeon, because Netflix bought out Nickelodeon, they don't have the two season rule anymore. But, but Hasbro has, yes I said Hasbro, we'll get to why I said Hasbro in a minute has made a contract with Nickelodeon to show it for three years. Three, not two. So, we are either going to have one of these two things happen. One, and I really hope this isn't the case, a Super Beast Morphers and a Super Duper Beast Morphers after the original Beast Morphers scares. <sighs> For the life of me, I really hope that this doesn't happen because the supers are boring in the first place and they're so unnecessary. So I really, really hope that's not the case. But second of all, we could not get a super and not get a super duper. We would just have three more seasons, which is amazing because I want that. 
because that means more Power Rangers, plus they would sell more toys anyway. So why not do something like that? And that means that we would actually have more to look forward to in the next two years. And that is something that I am really looking forward to, if that happens. If the first thing happens, then... <sighs> I really hope there's no super duper Beast Morphers, let's just say that. This one isn't really a change because we've seen this happen in many seasons before, but we really haven't seen it happen since RPM, and it's been a long time since then, so I'm gonna count it as a change. Three Rangers are starting off Beast Morphers, and I could not be more excited about that. This is why that I have faith that it will be a good season, because it doesn't surprise me that the past four seasons, I didn't think they were very good. Like, I've seen better seasons for like from Dino Thunder and Ninja Storm. If you're a longtime fan like I am, then you understand. It is starting off with three rangers, and if you remember, this is one of my wants for Beast Morphers, and they actually listen to me. And I cannot wait to see this play out, because this has not happened in a Nickelodeon season so far. I am super looking forward to this. And I was going to audition, but I never really got the chance to do that. And I've read some of the script, and, you know, it's actually pretty good. So, yeah, I cannot wait to see it start out with Three Rangers, because, because most of my favorite seasons, they have started out with Three Rangers. So, Beast Morphers could possibly take one of the take one of my top 10 spots we'll just have to wait and see but I truly do have faith in Beast Morphers and this is one of those reasons but I mean come on nothing can top Dino Thunder that season is perfect and finally possibly the biggest change in Power Rangers history is that Saban is no longer making the toys it is now Hasbro making the toys for Power Rangers Beast Morphers. This is the first time that they will be working with the Power Rangers and making the toys. And Hasbro has made some pretty good toys, including the My Little Pony toys and the Transformers toys. So I'm actually looking forward to seeing, to seeing some of these toys made by a different user and some of the previous toys, they're, they're just, they're not satisfying. Like, I don't have any toys because I don't have any money because I can't collect them. But, you know, it is, it's kind of weird because we've had Saban for so long and now Hasbro is just taking it over because they want, they wanted them to, though. So, that seems okay with me. And I think that Hasbro will do a great job making the toys for Power Rangers Beast Morphers. It's just such a big change and it's something that we're going to have to get used to. And it's possibly the reason why they reserved it for three years instead of two. And I know that a lot of people are actually upset about the change. But honestly, I'm just glad they didn't decide to end Power Rangers altogether because, I mean, let's be honest here. The series is, like, I love it. I'm gonna keep watching Power Rangers till the day that I die if it keeps continuing. But I'm honestly surprised that they didn't end it already because, Let's be honest, Super Ninja Steel is kind of bland, so that is why I have such high hopes in, Be in Beast Morphers. It needs to be good or the series will be dead. It needs to be good. It, there's a lot of pressure writing on the series, and so far it sounds pretty good. But we can only do what... But we as fans can only do so much, so... That's why I make videos like this. So, 
hit that like button to support Power Rangers Beast Morphers and more Power Rangers Beast Morphers videos. Also hit that subscribe button to see when I post those videos and leave a comment saying how you like this one or if you have any suggestions for any more videos. I do more than just Power Rangers. I also do Ninjago, Gravity Falls, Star Wars the Force of Evil. You name it, I'll do it. And I just once again would like to thank you guys for watching. This has been Awesome Specs 21. Signing off. Bye.